In today's video, I'm gonna show you this attachment I made for my DJI Action 2. This clips onto the chargeable base attached to my bike, and this allows me to dead drop the camera onto the dock, which is less fiddly than having to unclip it every time. As you can see, as soon as the camera drops in, it positions it perfectly with the pogo pins and instantly starts charging. This is what it looks like without the plastic guide. There's two clips that have to be squeezed, and it's kind of dangerous to be fiddling around with the camera, and there's always the risk of dropping it while I'm biking. It doesn't really latch perfectly every time. It can be done with one hand, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to drop it at some point, and the less distractions, the better, especially while riding a bike. I think one of the most underrated features on this camera is the quick startup time. As soon as you press the button, the camera turns on and instantly starts recording. Here I have it set to record 10 seconds. After that, the camera will automatically stop recording and turn the power off. Again, it's nice just to have one button press and never have to think about the camera again. Fewer distractions, the better. If you want to record a longer clip, you can hold the button down and that'll add another 10 seconds. If you want to end a clip early, just single tap the button and the camera will shut off. You can change the camera settings to do a quick 30 second, 15 or 10 second clip or just record all the time. So if I know I'm going to go down a steep descent and I'm going to be going real fast, I can just click the button, the camera will start recording. I don't have to pay attention to it anymore, it'll record for 30 seconds and then shut itself off. Nice thing is it's always staying charged in the stock. If I want a different shot, I can attach it to my helmet, it sticks on with the magnet, and I can get a shot with my handlebars and my hands in the shot. Or if I don't want that, I can click it up on the top of my helmet, or if I want to get the full handlebar, I can attach it to this magnetic clip on the shirt and I can get pretty much my entire handlebar set in the shot. It's also nice if you're loading your bike onto a train or something. It's kind of nice to just be hands-free and not distracted with a phone in your hand while you're biking. Here I'll show you some sample footage. All these clips are unmodified straight out of the camera. There's been no adjustments to brightness or color. Here I'm recording in a 4x3 format, which is actually capturing more of a view, and I can crop it to a 16x9 later on. The audio while I'm on the bike is going to be obviously pretty crappy because there's so much wind and bike noise, but the audio sounds pretty good when you're not biking. The exposure is generally spot on. Do get a little bit of a lens flare, and there is a little bit of highlight clipping because it doesn't do HDR like an iPhone would. I do still find the picture quality very pleasing, especially considering the safety factor of not having to handle a phone. Early firmware in the camera had an issue where the image stabilization and horizon balancing wouldn't kick in right away. It's interesting to look back at these old clips and see the before and after effects of the image stabilization. So here this is obviously pretty shaky footage, and right at this instant here we can see the image stabilization kick in. Here's a time lapse that was done inside the camera, and since the base is magnetic, you can attach it to a boat or a gondola. It's pretty convenient. <laughs> if you're interested to see how I made the plastic dock, I made it on my Shapeoko CNC machine. I'm machining the part out of roughly 27 millimeter thick ABS plastic. I prefer machining rather than 3D printing because the parts come out much stronger. Here I'm just cutting the tabs that hold the part in place while it's being machined. And finally I'm cutting a little pocket and a through hole for the USB-C charging plug. So this is the completed part. And this is the small rig dock. And this one's nice because it has these extended clips which allow it to snap into the base with a little click. 
USB port you can plug in either direction then the camera drops in and if you try and put it in backwards the magnets have the wrong polarity so it won't let it dock these are some of the other accessories for the DJI Action 2 this is the selfie stick with the removable remote control and it's nice that when you hit record it shows a countdown timer on the remote to tell you that it's recording I found this a little bit fiddly it's just an extra thing to have to keep charged and you have to keep the camera on to use it since the camera turns on almost instantly and starts recording I didn't have much need for the remote control but it is nice to be able to change modes without having to go through the menus on the camera the selfie stick itself is nice and compact there's just enough friction to easily flip the camera around or position it and it has built-in tripod legs if you want to have a static shot of you riding your bike towards the camera this is the front facing screen base unit the camera itself has a small battery and only 22 gigs of data so the base unit can recharge the camera and you can offload some of the footage from the camera onto an SD card on the base unit I found that this protective rubber cover is not really waterproof there's some electrical contacts that when wet caused my camera to crash when I was transferring files so just be aware this is the necklace attachment the magnet's really strong and it still attaches even through clothing it's great for those hands-free POV shots and the L magnet also allows the camera to attach to anything that's metallic there are two USB docks for this camera I like the small rig better because it has a raised latch makes it easier to disconnect the camera the Ulanzi only works with 5 volt USB ports it doesn't trigger a PD protocol another convenient way to mount the camera is underneath my Garmin there's a standard GoPro mount which you can attach the magnetic adapter to, but it's kind of sketchy to press the record button, see what's going on on the screen, and remove and mount the camera. All right, well, thanks again for watching. Uh, there are certainly more in-depth reviews on YouTube about the DJI Action 2, but I feel like I use it in a slightly different way, so I was hoping to help out those of you that are trying to record your biking adventures. If you're interested in one of those drop dock inserts that I made, uh, let me know in the comment section below and I was considering building a few and putting them on eBay. Anyway, thanks again for watching and stay tuned for more videos.